Hello, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to change this standard wheel head 15mm uh, radiator valve over to uh, a thermostatic radiator valve without draining any hardly any water from the system. Now how we're going to do that, um, there's two parts of the valve that we have to isolate to get the valve off. One is the inlet here and the other one is the part of the water that's coming um, out of the radiator into this side. Now if you look in the bottom here we've got um, a foam wrap from a freezing kit which you can obtain from your plumbers merchants um, full instructions how to use that or how to freeze the pipe there which will stop the water coming up into this point so we've already done that that's frozen uh, off now we need to stop the water coming out of the radiator into the valve itself now how we're going to do that is first of all close the radiator off at the other end that uh, will isolate the radiator from the system. The next thing to do is open the bleed valve on the radiator to let any excess pressure out and then important close the valve off make sure that it's closed off. The next thing you do is um, we're going to get one half of the rad clamp set here and fit a clamp to the corner one clamp to the corner of the radiator and I'll show you how we're going to keep the water inside the radiator. Now the next thing to do is get your ad spanner and just slacken off the nuts, slacken off the bottom one there. Just, just slacken it very, very, uh, very loosely, and then undo. Get your ad spanner and your rad wrench to hold the valve steady, and undo the nut in between there. Just slacken it off. Now at this point in time, nothing's going to come out. Now how we're going to stop the water coming out of there? We're going to use um, this thin rubber membrane seal. Now if you look down the end of it there you can see it's very thin so that will go inside the gap very easily. And the principle of this is uh, if you look at this bottle of water here you'll see the top of the bottle is about the same diameter as a, as a normal tailpiece on a, that's uh, protruding out the end of the radiator. So just, just to show you how it works if you put the rubber membrane over the bottle and then put it to the side just like the red you can see it's holding the water in there's not a single drop coming out of there and that's how we're going to do it oh by the way just to show that it's not a trick bottle there's the water coming out of there so that's that so like I said the next thing to do we've got this loose now is to um, insert the slide rod inside the clamp so that's going left to right just leave that there for now now we know this is slack slackened off so don't panic by the way when you're doing this because um, the water, when you undo this the water won't gush out it'll just try to dribble out because you've got the vacuum in the radiator holding the water in that's why I said it's so important to close off the bleed valve once you've let the pressure out so what we're going to do is slacken off that valve and loosen it. You might get a few drips here so I suggest you put um, a bit of a cloth underneath to catch any drips sometimes you don't get any drips at all but it's very very quick to do this if you watch this now I'll just quickly quickly insert that in there and that's it now I'm holding it over the end like I was with the bottle so there's no no panic and the next thing to do is pull the rod across and just line that up inside the all the instructions inside this kit by the way uh, line it up inside the fork there and pull the whole thing that way push it over that way and then tighten up the pinch bolt there so now we know that that's holding the water inside the radiator there's a gap there so when all this is frozen up here so there's nothing going to come out now just to check just turn the valve on gently you can see there there's nothing coming out so we know that is absolutely frozen off now we need to take the valve off so carry on undoing the nut at the bottom it's now finger tight and take that off you see the water bobbing up and down inside there so that's that taken off now when you do this you must check that the tail there's two types of tail pieces there's the three quarter type which is that one and the, uh, the half inch one which is that one and these usually are always uh, connected to the, the TRVs, the thermostatic radiator valves so we can leave that one inside there and reconnect it to this same thing with the inlet nut, we know it's 15mm we can take the nut and olive off there and we're going to use the existing one on here now we need to put it back refit it so you simply drop the valve on top there 
finger tight with the with the nut at the bottom it's also worth bearing in mind that when you put the freezer kit on you've got about uh, 45 minutes of working time maybe an hour depending on the temperature of the room so you've got, to, you've got to be reasonably quick so get everything everything set out before you start this now that's on there and we, we can swivel that about now we need to reconnect it to, to the uh, to the tailpiece of the radiator which is still full of water now it's just as quick to reconnect as it is to disconnect what you do is you line it up and just you've got play in the pipe just pull it back like that and hold it off then release the pinch bolt you can see and that'll take the strain off pull that back take it out very quickly and push it on now the panic's over again no panic just screw screw that on finger tight get your ad spanner and just tighten that on like that just slightly cross threaded there it's on now yeah, tighten that up so the rad, rad, uh, the TRV is now fitted use your rad, uh, your rad the two ends of the rad wrench one's a thinner end for the for the um, standard wheel uh, wheel head valves and the other thicker end is for the thicker bodied TRVs so put that on there pull up with the rod wrench and down with the, with the spanner holding that in line there you go that's tightened up there now don't forget this one at the bottom now that's loose just give that with your rod spanner just tighten that up pull the valve and tighten it up like that now remove your rod clamp Put that back in the kit, ready for next time. Put pack all your kit away. Um, now, the next thing to do is open the valve at the other end, and that will let water back into the radiator and over and flood the valve here. And you can check if you've got any leaks. Once you realise you've got no leaks, uh, snip off the tie wires on here, take that off, and that just leave that to thaw out on its own time. It'll probably take about half an hour to thaw. After that's happened, after that's been done. Uh, like I said, there's no refilling of the system, you've not lost anything at all. Just put the system on, run it hot, dry around these joints here and check it's okay. Um, a freezer kit will normally cost you about £20 I would imagine to do one pipe. But if you bear in mind that if you drain the system to fit this, you're going to lose all your, your inhibitors, your additives, which can cost £25-£30 at a time. Uh, plus not to mention the loss of water and the time and messing about that you've, you've got to go so to do this is without a shadow of a doubt the best way of doing it get a freezer kit if you've got enough pipe to get the sleeve on there do it this way um, the rag clamp kit of course that's one one half of the rag clamp kit that's actually designed to take the radiator off with the water inside of course if you put a rag clamp both ends of the radiator you can see that you can take the radiator off full of water do your work plastering, tiling, refixing brackets, insulating, painting, whatever behind the radiator. Put the radiator back and reconnect it as I've just shown you there. You don't lose any water that way that way either. Now I'm going to do another video actually uh, later on about how to take a radiator off with the water still inside. So, sorry, the water still inside, that's, that's up and coming. So there you go, um, change the radiator valve, no draining. Easy as that. Thanks for watching.